Hey, this is Cameron. Welcome back to the Busy Gardener channel. We're gonna talk through why you ought to go to your local nursery as opposed to the big box stores to find your trees when you can help it. Let's get busy. Okay, so you want to plant some fruit trees and you've got a Home Depot or Lowe's right around the corner from you. And you think, yeah, I saw some fruit trees there once, I'm gonna go buy some and I'm gonna plant them. And that's totally an option. However, there are a bunch of things that your local nursery, like Parkview Nursery here in Riverside, California, have that your bo big box stores don't have. And I wanna talk through a few of those things, some of the advantages of coming to a, a local nursery as opposed to a big box store. Let's talk about some of those. Yeah, so what are you gonna do if you're looking for some sort of specific cultivar and your big box just has nectarine? Like, I don't want nectarine, I want three different kinds of specific nectarines that successively ripen. Those, you're not always gonna find. You're gonna be driving all around town hoping that some garden center has it. So you're gonna typically find at a good nursery like this, tons and tons of variety. So you can find that specific cultivar that's gonna work best for you. In addition to that, they're gonna have different rootstocks. So you're gonna be able to choose the rootstock that best suits your particular soil environment. So not only do they have tons of, let's say, um, you know, you've got Arctic Star and Arctic Glow and Panamint Nectarine and some of these others, Double Delight, but then you're gonna be able to find the one that has a specific rootstock within those. So maybe they're gonna have uh, 20 Double Delight Nectarines and they're gonna have three or four different rootstocks that you're gonna be able to select from. So that's something, if look at this. All of these nectarines, you're gonna find what you're looking for here. The reason why the variety is also really helpful is if you're trying to do a two-in-one or three-in-one or four-in-one planting, being able to find those specific cultivars uh, all in one place is really helpful as well. So that's one advantage of coming to a local nursery as opposed to big box. <laughs> I see all these fruit trees here. I start kind of giggling a little bit. My wife was over in the flower section and she says, oh, is your heart racing a little bit? Yes, my heart's racing. Got an obsessed doing this stuff, I love it. Look at all these different pomegranate that they have here. This is actually where I bought my Parfianca pomegranate. I couldn't find it anywhere else. I think I got Parfianca pomegranate and my Panache fig both here um, a few years ago when I first planted those. And so being able to come and find the specific cultivars, look at that, about 30 feet of just pomegranate. You wouldn't find something like this at your big box. Look at fig, you're gonna do a three in one, four in one fig planting, just come <laughs> choose the one that you want. So yeah, this is just kind of an overhead shot of part of their fruit tree area. Um, and Parkview pack in a lot of a lot of trees. There's some larger nurseries that have even more cultivars going. Um, these guys are really heavy on Dave Wilson nursery trees, which I'm a big fan of. Uh, like they do, they also have a soft spot in my heart for Dave Wilson nursery because uh, Tom Spellman's videos are what really got me started in fruit trees several years ago. And so anytime I see Dave Wilson nursery, uh, they kind of have a built-in fan with me. Another thing that a nursery like this nursery, they, they have lots and lots of deliveries. And so they're continually bringing in new stocks. So you're getting um, trees that haven't been sitting there getting root bound in a pot um, like they would maybe at some of the big box stores where there are only a couple of varieties, people not going. People come here because they wanna buy these trees and they're here to buy fruit trees. Um, and so sometimes the fact that there is some cycling through, you're gonna get plants that are a lot more fresh, uh, looked after. They're gonna come here, they're gonna be taking care of these trees really well. I've seen it like my local Home Depot, they take pretty good care of the trees, but these guys really know what they're doing. This is what they do day in and day out. Hey, how often am I talking about Spice Z Nectar Plum and Flavor Grenade Pluot? Here they've got them plants sitting right next to each other. If somebody stumbles upon these and puts them in their orchard, they're gonna be really, really happy. Oh, one thing I have to stress is that at a local nursery, you have people who um, because they know exactly what they're talking about, you're gonna be able to ask more pointed and detailed questions and they're gonna be able to give you really clear and straight answers. Whereas in a big box store, they might just be able to point to that and say nectarine. But if you say, hey, well, does this nectarine need to be pollinated with something? Oftentimes a nursery is a lot more knowledgeable on those things, taking care of pests, um, putting stuff on in terms of organic feed and fertilizer, things like that. 
And so you really have a wealth of information when it comes to a local nursery. Uh, and they're gonna be able to answer your questions typically with a lot more detail and depth. Here they've got some Lee jujubes. Actually, this is <laughs> this is where I bought my jujube also. I forgot about that. I looked and nowhere else had them. None of the big box stores locally. My local nursery closed down. And so I came out here, I called ahead, and they said, yeah, we've got some Lee jujube. And so I came down and got it. Here are a few Lees waiting to be bought. Hey, one other reason why having so many options to choose from of a similar variety is really helpful when compared to a big box is because you found the specific one you're looking for and you've got 10 options for that specific type, that specific cultivar. Um, let's say I want this Eva's Pride Peach. Well, I'm looking here and I see about 20 Eva's Pride Peaches right here. And so because you're gonna be, the backyard grower is growing for a specific style, I'm gonna be able to pull out a few of these trees and find the one that's gonna have the best options for me. So I'm gonna be able to look for things like uh, low scaffolding, which is something I'm gonna look for because I'm gonna cut it down low. I'm gonna be able to look and make sure that I've got enough branches coming out within a certain area. I should also indicate that when uh, you're going to a local nursery, they're typically going to be buying trees that work for that climate and for that type of area and environment, the type of soil that's common to that area. Um, whereas maybe a big box store, uh, you know, let's say that they're covering three different states. They're going to be ordering, okay, placing some gigantic order for, you know, t a thousand nectarines or something. And those might all be on the same rootstock. Um, whereas a local nursery is going to be paying more attention to the rootstocks that work in this area because they're buying for a single location or one or two locations. So oftentimes you're going to be getting trees that are going to automatically do better right out of the start because they're getting chosen for that particular climate. All right, what do we get here? got, you can see a cucumber, watermelon, parsley, hops, and two passion fruits. Two passion fruit. Yeah, so the deal here is that uh, we're able to get the specific passion fruit we were looking for, find the specific hops we were looking for, and find the specific kinds of uh, veggies that we wanted to find. So another advantage, they've got all the kinds usually that other places haven't even got. Where can you even find hops at a big box? I can't. So I got it here. Hey, I love checking out new nurseries. I'm always curious what new stock has come in. I hope this has been a helpful video for you. You know, there's nothing wrong with a big box store. If that's all that you got around you, then there are definitely things I've bought a lot of my citrus from big box because those are less sensitive to uh, the type of root stocks they're planted on. I bought other uh, stone fruit, um, not too many, but like my persimmon, for example, I bought there. But generally speaking, you can't beat something like this. And so hopefully this has given you a look as to why you ought to at least consider your local nursery. They do good work. They're experts in what they're doing. And um, yeah, like to support local businesses when they're doing an excellent job like so many local nurseries do, like Parkview Nursery here does. And so I uh, hope this has been helpful. If you'd like to subscribe to this channel, I'd love it. If that's not your thing, that's okay too. And whether you've got one tree in your orchard or 500, until next time, stay busy.